Hey guys, welcome to Drive-Ins, Divers, and Dives. That's the, nope. Okay. <laughs> no, that's what it is. <laughs> well, no, because we're welcome diving. Drive, in. Dr- hey guys, welcome diners to Drive-Ins, Divers, and Dives. Diners and, jo- and, and Jives? Um, <laughs> diners, Drive-Ins, and Drives. Um, <laughs> Holy so shit, I'm we were gonna we were gonna record Jungles and Dragons as as usual, but uh, Nick didn't show up. Uh, I <laughs> so think where the fuck is you he? know. What, for whatever reason, Nick couldn't make it. So um, we, Ethan, has decided to take upon it, uh, take it upon himself to do DM an entire session from yep. scratch, improv. So we've made new characters for it and everything. Ethan, do you want to take us in? And I guess instead of, I guess instead of Funky Monkey Facts, let's just talk about our characters. Yeah. Ethan, so. do you know how to how to like how to how to use like uh, stat blocks for monsters and shit? No, I'm not using any of that. Do them. All I have on my screen right now is. Your your guys is on Discord, and then I have a notes that I can make note of what your names are going to be. That's all I'm using this episode. So, okay. welcome back everyone right. to Giners, Drivens, and Dives. That's the name of this of this show. This is the Giners. <laughs> this is the Giners. Yeah. Get it, get it. <laughs> Sorry, Drivens, Diners, and Dives. <laughs> The official, the official diner RPG, tabletop RPG, uh, the How official. How are we gonna one. fight in the diner? Uh, who says you're gonna be fighting? We don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm, I am your DM for this glorious episode, Ethan, and today we are gonna take uh, three, uh, three loyal workers at the at the Splinky Diner in Splaguli, Kansas. Uh, hold on, let me make a note of that's the name. Splinky uh, and Spaguli. Splinky Diner in Spaguli, Kansas. All right. So that's that's the name. Of, you're at the Splinky Diner and three loyal workers working the night shift because it's a 24 oh. hour diner and it's just the three of you holding oh the fort. So, fellas, why don't we go oh around and introduce our characters, these three loyal workers at the diner? Uh, Harrison, let's start with you this time. Tell us about your character. Why don't we Ugh. change it up a little bit? Why okay. don't we go in reverse age order, Gabe? The or I actually think August. Gabe. You want to start us out, August. Let's go. Let's, I'm no, Gabe. Either. Sorry, Gabe. No, it's Gabe. Gabe. Let's start with the youngest. Let's go, Gabe. I'm the yeah. youngest. Hey guys, Gabe here, the official voice actor for Brennan Alphonse, level six uh, <laughs> half elf <laughs> knowledge domain cleric, and he's also <laughs> the manager, kind of the shift manager for Splinky's Diner. <laughs> okay. No, he, ha- what, he handles the cash. He what handles the hosting. What sort of guy hosting. is he? Describe him to us. What sort of man? Brennan. Is? So one thing is he's a very he's I wouldn't say religious. Yeah, he he's oh, kind wow. of a, a bit of a he's a bit of an ag he's agnostic and he he likes to lord that over people. He enjoys that. He enjoys handling numbers. He enjoys <laughs> handling He's sort of people. the guy who runs the numbers. Numbers. He's, 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 yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a he's a faux intellectual. <laughs> very much like hey did you hear about this this and that and he's like no <laughs> well here it is i want to do this every week now i want this to be the show from now on yeah, he's, changing he's, characters every week yeah he's kind of a he's kind of an arrogant very uncharismatic faux intellectual i see i see oh my god is it me am i, am I okay. going yeah and and he's an elf right all right he's a, he's a half he's half elf. half elf half elf half <clears throat> elf all right all right how how's it going? I'm 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 Jimmy Pink Boy Colombo. I'm a level six water Janazi rogue. Now I work the I work the fryers in the back, frying up ice cream and and good treats for the children. Now I'm I'm running from a life of crime. 
but I always do what's right. You know, I walk into a room, what's right? That door, that ain't right. Let's let's take it off its hinges and get that get it to the bank. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's he's a hard ass with a heart of gold. Yeah, he's also he's like he's met, he's like twenty. He he just talks like this. He's not like an old guy. <laughs> he's just how he talks. <laughs> Hey, don't fuck with me. Hey, don't talk to me about my fluorescent green skin and pink hair or I'll knock your fucking lights out, all right? <laughs> He's got a gun. He's got a real-world gun. How many bullets? How many bullets? Uh, however many arrows a short bow has. Uh, 20. Well, yeah. Also, he has a mace and a crossbow. Brennan has a mace and a crossbow. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so, so uh, Pink Boy's got, yeah, he's got a, a gun and two daggers and a short sword. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Harrison back here again. I'm playing Chester Hugh J. Bolt. He is a uh, barbarian, uh, a Goliath barbarian. Um, nice. He's sort he's sort of a numbers guy in his own right. He does a lot of things according to his calculations. Uh, so, sort of a so, two numbers guys. Sort of, he, well, he's sort of the real numbers guy, you know. He's got an intelligence of eight. He carries his calculator around with him. Uh, he also carries around his great sword. I don't know what else to say. Oh, he's the bouncer at the bar, or the, not the bar, the tavern. <laughs> the, the, he's the, the, diner, the, the family diner. He's, he's 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 the he's the bouncer at the family diner. Yeah. Is he actually hired by the diner, or does he just stand out there? No, he was hired. He he came in and he said. According to my calculations, you're going to give me this job because I'm a respectable young man. And they had no option but to oblige. Uh, Brennan was like, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> you get the job. All right. Uh, those, are the ki- those, are, those are the players. And let's, let's, <laughs> let's, di- let's dive into the, the world here, shall we? Oh! Alright, it's 2.30 in the morning in Splagooly, Kansas. We zoom in on the Splinky Diner, a classic 50s metal with, with neon lights, r- real, a real soda can-like uh, diner, you know? It looks, it looks like someone just like toppled over an old Airstream RV or trailer on the side of the road. Uh, there's no nothing else surrounds this diner, it's really just like a... You know, it's a rest stop. It's a rest stop for people to, to get their food on their journeys while they're traveling across the America. We zoom into the diner and we uh, we pass uh, the, the America. Chester... <laughs> we pass Chester Hugh J. Bones. Uh, Chest sort of Chestworth. Chestworth. Chestworth Hugh uh-huh. J. Bones. Chestworth Hugh J. Bones. Sta- stand in guard at the diner's entrance. Sort of. Playing around with what? What are those those calculators where it's like you you move the, the abacus? An abacus. According to my according to my abacus, yes. I have a I have a horrible itch on my rectum. Scratches anus. Yeah, he's saying that to nobody. <laughs> no one's there. He's just saying that. We, we go through uh, the diner and we see uh, Brandon Alphonse scrubbing the scrubbing the grill because it's it's really dirty from all the the charred meat. He's just, he's scrubbing what's, what's, away, preparing for the next What's your route. character's name, uh, August? My, oh, Jimmy Pinkboy. Oh, no, 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 character. sorry, sorry, no, Jimmy Pinkboy's doing that, sorry, I read it out word. Brennan Alphonse is in Jim, his yeah, office, Jimmy the manager's Pink office, Columbo. counting all the, the stacks of gold coins that they made for the day, because the currency in this twisted world is just gold coins from Mario. Brennan and there takes a gold coin and takes a big <laughs> bite out of it. And, and then he it... begins to work on payroll, giving himself the highest amount. Yes, and it was immensely <laughs> impressive because the coins in this world are the size of plates. So <laughs> with two hands they're, liter- he bites into they're it. literally the coins from Super Mario. <laughs> oh man, Super All Mario right. coin. Great. There are, those are your roles. Uh <laughs> you hear Chessworth, you hear uh, you hear a motor coming down the road. And then you realize it's not a motor of a car or a truck, but rather a motor of a motorized tricycle. What what do you do? Do you do anything? You hear it, but you can't see anything that's coming. <laughs> Chestworth. I, uh, 
I I um I pull out my calculator and I run some numbers and I I put, I put it down and back in my back in my back skinny jeans pocket and I and I say so I was crunching some numbers right and according to all my calculations this can't be good. <laughs> I, I you, waddle over in the direction of the tricycle. As you're doing that, you... I want you, because it's so dark outside, I want you to roll for perception. Okay. Here we uh, go, Ethan. That's, that's something to roll for. <laughs> that's something to roll. Um, That's a 17. 17. All right, that's... Let's see. Pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh... So as you're walking, you peer out into the darkness, your eyes squint, and it kind of bulges out your eyeballs a bit because you're looking so good into the darkness. You see emerging from the dark, long road of this uh, Kansas highway, a small gray baby on a motorized tricycle zipping towards you, going 60 miles per hour. I want you to roll a performance uh, check. Sure. First of all, before I do that performance, I, I, I take out my cellular phone and I, I go to Google and I scroll through Google for a little bit. And I said, I've done some research and the gray baby seems highly unusual. Uh, <laughs> and then I, uh, performance, you say? Yeah. Uh, that's a seven. Okay. So... That is not very good. That's not very good. The baby uh, crashes into you, going 60 miles per hour. It's a very small <laughs> tricycle. Ah! <laughs> Why was that performance? Because you you could have dodged it, but you didn't. Um, <laughs> dexterity. I want you to roll a d4 dexterity. for damage. No, that's care. performance. That's performance. Oh, yeah. I guess, are you the DM? I yeah, don't think you're the DM. Nice try. Nice try, backseat DM. That's a, that's a two two baby damage. Okay, so you got to take off two points of baby damage. Uh, <laughs> and the baby says, Okay. Hey, that's where you're going! I'm trying to get some fucking food! What are you <laughs> This is horrific. This is horrific. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were a customer. The customer is always right, as they say. I pull up my belt over my giant protruding deer belly. All right, follow me, waddles towards the entrance. Wait, wait, wait. I broke both my legs crashing into you. Can you carry me in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I sling him over my shoulder and start walking towards the door. Uh, can you roll for that sling <laughs> over the shoulder? Yeah, what rule would that be, what? Ethan? Uh, let's... Uh... Let's do, uh... <laughs> Can you do an intelligence check let's do with disadvantage, please? <laughs> let's do strength check. Strength? Okay. Yeah. Low, low should be good, so he doesn't kill the baby. <laughs> Is it a saving throw? Uh, that's a 14. Okay, so... That's that's pretty mild. You you slap him onto your shoulder and it kind of hits him in the face as you get to the back. He goes, Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> Stop hurting me! Just let me in the diner, please! <laughs> the customer is always right. I, I stuff him in my pocket. All right. Do you, do you, now do you go in the diner? Yeah, I go in the diner. I unload him from my pocket and sit him in a high chair. Okay. Uh, can I get a performance check for the putting in the high chair? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a 17 okay that that's pretty good so, so good that high chair. You, you plop him down on the high chair and you pat him on the head twice um, okay. and he goes ah, I want the menu watch the menu ah. uh, Brennan hears the little ting 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 of the bell on the yeah. on the diner door. He put he goes ahead and ties up his roller skates since it's a fifties diner. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So he, he I, roller I, skates into Can it. I can I can I lean into him as he roller skates in and 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 whisper yeah, to him in his ear? I whisper to him in his ear. Brennan, this child is highly <laughs> irregular. I would advise you to be careful according to my numbers. Of then course, I, I'm gonna be. I'm I gonna lean be back into the shadows. I'm not going to listen to a nerd. I don't listen to intellectuals, like myself. So I go over with my little uh, checkbook, say, I hand them a menu. It's like, hello, gray baby. 
Did you hear what's happening in Syria? Syria? <laughs> what happened in Syria? Oh no! <laughs> you wouldn't get it. So what would you like to order? Wait, I want to know what happened in Syria, please! <laughs> I have well, family uh, that's there! Oh. <laughs> I hand them a dice. Roll an intelligence check for me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna roll an intelligence check! A disadvantage. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I got a three! Oh, fuck, my pulsating like brain! <laughs> You wouldn't get it, so what would you like? I want the chef! Bring out the chef! I roll escape backwards. <laughs> the the door to the kitchen slams open. <laughs> Jimmy's there and he goes, As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to meet a gray baby. And rags through and just starts blasting. <laughs> bad, bad. <laughs> hey, how's it going? And he daps him up. Ow, ow. Uh, can you roll for strength for the dapping up? <laughs> yeah, I can roll for a dapping up. Uh, what is strength? What is strength? Minus one strength. Uh, I got a, a 17. Alright, so you, you beat him up pretty fucking hard because you're you're pretty strong. <laughs> so, and you dap him around. Baby. Yeah, this baby doesn't really oh. know what you're doing, so you just like sort of slap him around the high chair and he's... He's getting really sweaty, so he's like slipping around the top of the high chair. <laughs> Okay, it's very nice to meet you, Chef. Can I do a, a sleight of hand check to, ste to steal whatever's in his pockets? He doesn't have any pockets. He's a gray naked baby. But you can check what's in his prison pocket <laughs> okay. if you want. No, yeah, you're not. No, you're don't not do that to do a that. baby. No, you're not doing that. To <laughs> no, pockets <baby>. not allowed. <laughs> can I? Can I do it for a, a, a sleight of hand check to, to cut off all his hair and stuff it stuff in my back pocket? He doesn't have any hair. He's a bald. Hair. He's a bald gray baby. What about his? What about his one big curly baby? Hair? <laughs> okay, he has <laughs> one. Yeah, he's got one big curly hair. And whenever he moves his head, the curly hair goes. <laughs> uh, um, okay, I, I rolled a uh, I, I rolled a twenty five to take that hair. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. No. All right, so you you yoink out the hair. You don't cut it. You just rip it out of his head. Ow! My fucking hair! I just want some food, and I was gonna ask you what's your chef's recommendation. Ah. Hey, chef character! I can't remember your name. Can you lend me that hair, and I'll bring it back to the labs. Maybe run some tests hey, uh, on it. Chef character! I don't remember your name. Is it Johnny? Right? <laughs> Johnny? Jimmy. It was like Jimmy. it was like pink hands or something. Jimmy, Jimmy, pink, pink hands McGee. <laughs> I give I give him the hair and I go I go oh for you my friend I have just the, the special and because I'm a water genasi I have um, the spell create or destroy water which is described as you either create or destroy water <laughs> so I'm gonna cast it at, at second level to um what is it a uh, a th 35 foot? Yeah. A 35 foot cube of water around the baby. <laughs> it's just hovering around him? Is he like in Are the water? Are they drowning? Does Is the water the like drop onto the floor or does it hover there? Um, uh, I, think, I think it drops onto the floor. I think it's normal water. Yeah, so I just, I just drown him for a moment. Yeah, it just falls onto the floor. Yeah. I go, okay. hey, it's the water! <sighs> Uh, can I get this in a glass, please? Uh, hey, uh, Ethan, can I use my uh, my uh, channel divinity to read thoughts? Yeah. Okay, can you do a wisdom saving throw? Okay. Alright, that's a three. So, three, okay, so um, you, you read this Brennan, baby like an open book. And then um, antennas pop out of his head, and they <laughs> feel on the baby's face for a bit, and like connect to the baby's brain. Yeah. What am I? What am I reading? What am I you're, hearing? You're reading that uh, bad things will happen if you give this baby food. That's all. That's all you know. Bad things will happen. Uh, Ethan, while he's doing that, yeah. Can I take can I out my? Kill the baby? Can I take out? Can I take out my three my three monitor laptop and open the little CD disc and place the hair in it and sh stick it in and and cr crunch some numbers and run some tests on this baby hair? <laughs> yeah, give me an investigation check for that one. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh, that's not a natural, but a twenty. Okay. <laughs> so. You learn. Oh god. 
Okay. What do we learn about this baby? All right, so you pull up everything on this baby. Uh, you <laughs> learn this baby's name is... Uh, the, the, all the Ethan files on this baby. <laughs> the, the bold <laughs> files come out. You learn that this baby's name is Preston P. Pickles. And, Preston P. Pickles. <laughs> and he <laughs> is a... <laughs> A failed experiment uh, petri dish baby grown in uh, the Spagouli, Kansas uh, Medical Research Lab. He was the f- first genetically uh, created baby to uh, grow in size with how much matter he eats. <laughs> that's that's what you learn, and you learn that uh, an experiment went wrong when he was born in the petri cup dish thing. That. Uh, made him really greasy and slippery which helped him escape from the research lab and there's actually a warrant out for his arrest or not really his arrest just his capture that's that's what you learn from your files yeah uh, i unconnect um, my antennas from his head i, I like, say i yeah. say uh, uh diner huddle diner workers huddle can we huddle up really quick good night yeah, workers right the food the, uh, i uh I heard some bad so things about that baby when I was uh, reading his thoughts with yeah. my my big hey. pulsating brain. Oh, I don't I don't think ah. I don't think I don't think Pink Cat's knows. Let's fill him in. So I'm gonna talk really quietly so the baby doesn't overhear me, and I say, "Hey, Pink Cat's, um, bad <laughs> news about this baby. He's some sort of escaped lab experiment. He he bad grows about this the baby. more he eats." So I think we catch this baby, we turn him in, and we're gonna make some mola, <laughs> according to my calculations, anyway. I'll go um, ahead and uh, agree with that. I read the, the numbers mind, never lie, that... pecans. The numbers <laughs> never lie. <laughs> read his mind, and I said the bad things will happen if that baby eats. So uh, I, I, I go bad news about the baby. Oh. I sit down at the at the diner counter. I take out my revolver. I look over to the left. <laughs> Sunshine of your love starts playing <laughs> as the camera gets closer. Give you my dance surprises. <laughs> I, I shoot. I shoot the baby in the back of the head. <laughs> no, because as you're huddling, you look over as you're about to shoot the baby in the back of the head. You see he's gone. He's not in the high chair. We, we look He's back at each other. What? You hear wet, small pattering noises throughout the diner, like th- that it's baby's feet running. It's you. Oh, what what no. do you do now? Okay. This, this baby's out of your sight. We we better lock up all the food before this dang baby goes berserk. All right, so. Um, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call my mom. Can I call my mom on the phone? Yeah. Roll. Uh. Roll performance to call your mom. Uh, it's a 15. Okay, so you manage to pick up the phone (laughs) and press the numbers. For a second, you forget what your mom's number is, but you manage to do it. And, uh, yeah, and the phone's ringing, and then you hear, Uh, Hello, Jimmy, dear, it's 2.30 in the morning. What you you want? What you want from me? (laughs) Hey, ma! Jimmy, Jimmy, ma. how's the diner job? How you do? How's the diner job, Jimmy? It's going great, ma. I just needed to hear your voice. Jimmy, it's 2.30 in the morning. I was trying to sleep. <laughs> Jimmy. You know what they say about 2.30? 2.30 is the time to call your ma. <laughs> I thought they said 2.30, like when you go to the dentist, Jimmy. Why would you lie to me? Jimmy, are you lying? Are you lying? Are you even are you even working at the diner right now, Jimmy? I'm gonna I'm gonna slap the phone out of Jimmy's. Do you remember that do you remember do you remember that great baby you you met, Ma? I didn't mean no great baby, you're delusional. What are you talking? I got going back to bed, Jimmy. Alright, the mom hangs up. No, Ma Jimmy, you're wasting valuable time and brain cells on that ki- with that cancer device. We have to Why find this gray baby. Why do you talk like this? Why do you to... talk like this? We gotta find this gray baby. Can I, let's let's start tracking these footsteps. I start a. All I, right. I, I... You see, you see a trail of, um, of just a wet trail of footprints. Slink, start roller skating. Slink behind the counter and go to the hallway to the the door next to your office. Um. And that's the pantry. And you, s- it. you see, yeah. 
It's in the pantry. Oh, no. Ow. Ow. Um, I want to cast um, Blindness slash Deafen. I'm Constitution oh 14. God. Okay. Go roll Constitution 14 for me. All right. All right, so that's that's pretty good. You it hits. So okay, so the baby is now blind. The baby is now blind and deafened, but uh, just, when you just blind, just blind. Okay. Yeah. So you open up and you see the baby's actually gotten to a, a lot of food in that time when Jimmy was calling his mom. So, uh, the baby's probably now the the size <laughs> of. Uh, let's see. Ethan Probably. looks around his room. <laughs> uh, uh, like a dog or a cow. The size or a... of, uh, uh, probably, uh... An, env- uh, an Evangelion a gr- poster. Uh, a, gr- a grizzly bear cub. All right? So... Oh, baby. No, no, but, like, a juvenile grizzly bear, you know? So, I'd say, like, he's now three feet tall, you know? Uh... And he, he's pretty girthy now because he's he's just ingested I'm gonna, a I'm lot gonna, of food. I'm gonna swing my greatsword, which is just a big number two pencil at him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a big. All right. Uh, yeah. Roll roll for roll for swing. Actually, everyone roll for initiative. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> now that you blinded the baby, the baby goes. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no! I'm pissed. I'm gonna fucking kill you guys, <laughs> even though I can't see you. All right. So August, what are you gonna do against this this three foot tall chubby gray baby that's blind? Okay, I'm gonna take out my 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 revolver, my my little revolver, and I'm going okay. to aim it at the baby, and I'm gonna take a sneak attack on him because he's blinded. Yeah. True. Fifteen. Okay. So, um. Does that hit? Because I need to roll damage. If that hits, I let need me to see. roll damage. That that hits. You you get one bullet in him. So get roll one me bullet. roll me a d6. Well, I'm only bullet. shooting one bullet. Oh, you're only shooting one bullet? Okay. I, I'm rolling a d6 for dam for for damage anyway. I roll. Okay. <laughs> so so I, I got a uh, wait. So my damage is and then plus three more d6. Uh, uh, I do seventeen damage. Okay, seventeen damage. You blow okay. off his ear. So you blow off his right ear. I go, right hey, ear. I'm gonna fucking kill you with the, the gun. And then <laughs> you blow off his ear. He goes, oh, fuck. Oh, my fucking ear. Who did that? Oh. <laughs> All right, Chessworth, um, what's your move? I'm going to go I'm going to go into rage and also into frenzy. And mm. what happens when I go into rage is my body morphs and shifts into a small, maybe four foot eight lumpy man. <laughs> And, uh, and I, I, say, I say, Audrey, Audrey, I'm so tired. I'm so what? tired. I have so much work to do, Audrey. You make me put my coat on. You make me come to the door. I've got so much work to do. And after all this, you still don't want to go. You don't want to go see Billy. We love Billy, Audrey. You make me put my coat on. Oh, I'm so tired. And I'm going to hit him with my greatsword while in rage, which gives me advantage. <laughs> Uh, I'm never watching this show. I'm never watching the show. Uh, okay. Actually, it, doesn't a lot of Twin Peaks happen in a diner? Isn't there a lot of diner stuff in Twin Peaks? There's a lot of diner stuff, yeah. <laughs> the uh, diner so stuff. Cool. I get one more roll at the advantage. Okay, so that is a... a 17. Okay, yeah, that hits. Um, roll me... Okay. roll for damage. So, no, I... Well, I... yeah, for damage. Okay, that is, um, just so you know, I'm going to do this two more times. Okay. Um, nine damage. So take, he takes nine damage, so I'm going to do it again. Okay. That's a 14. Does that hit? Uh, no, that doesn't. So. Okay, I'm going to do one more then. Okay. That's a 16. Does that hit? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's eleven damage. Okay, so oh, describe big number two pencil. Describe to me your number two pencil move. I say, Audrey, am I gonna have to write you out of the story, Audrey? And I take my big number two pencil and I just go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and just sort of, what the just fuck sort of, is Twin Peaks about? Just sort of bang it down onto his head. 
<laughs> I get a lot of lead up in there. Oh, fuck. What is Twin Peaks about? What is the plot? I can't tell you. You don't even know what the plot is until like halfway through the second season. All right, the the okay, the, maybe I'll watch an episode of Twin Peaks. the gray chubby baby uh, now has a big uh, dented head. So his head's sort of like a U, sh- <laughs> a U shape now. After uh, you you smash him over the head with your giant number two pencil. All right, Brennan, what's your move? Brennan moves within 15 feet of the gray baby. He takes out his holy symbol, which is uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. Um, he <laughs> reads from it for a little bit. What's wrong and he, with you? And he casts Spectral Guardians. Um, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, uh, Steve Jobs, and uh, fuck it, John McAfee appear. Spectral, oh, yes. blue. Whoa. Spectral and blue floating around him. Roll a, wis- a wisdom saving throw. A wisdom check or whatever. Okay. Uh, that is a ten, so... You get fucked. Yeah. So, the spectral the spectral intellectuals, quote-unquote, begin to just absolutely pummel this gray baby in a circle. They begin stomping on him. Let me see. 3d8 radiant damage. Uh, ten damage. Ten damage, okay. Uh, and, they, and, like, and they stay with me, so as long yeah. as the gray baby's within 15 feet, they're gonna keep getting beaten up. All right, um, so the gray baby's lying there uh, with, with a dented head, a blown off ear, and just like a bunch of other dents throughout his body from the, the beating up from all those people. Um, the baby is gonna uh, curl up into a ball like Sonic the Hedgehog, and he's gonna try to do a rolling attack um, towards, I assume Brennan's the closest because Brennan opened the door. So, um, the baby. Have we been doing this all through the door? Yeah, you're all in a hallway. So, it's like the baby's in the pantry, Brennan, and then it's the two of you behind Brennan. Um, all right, the baby rolled a 13. Does that hit, Brennan? Uh, no. Okay. Nope, misses. So, the baby, uh, the baby just misses, goes right. Uh, you kind of you raise up your pants, which stretches out your legs like a cartoon, and the baby goes right in between your legs, yeah. <laughs> and uh, smashes into a table in the diner. Um, and the baby's like, "Oh fuck, that thing ain't working at all. I can't see shit." Uh, <laughs> Maybe you should try harder, gray baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jimmy. Cry more. <laughs> what's your next move on this baby? I go, "Hey, baby." Hey baby, why don't you just uh, why don't you eat your own hand? How about that? I'm gonna try to persuade him to do that. that why, you should eat your own hand. You should okay. take a bite out of your own hand. Yeah, roll roll for persuasion. Uh, rolling for persuasion. That's gonna be a twenty-two. <laughs> okay. So the baby says, "You know what? You're right. That might just work. Okay, I'll eat my hand." The baby starts chowing down on his hand. Can that be a bonus action? And, uh, let's see. Yeah. So now, as the baby's gnawing on his hand, you can do another action. I'm gonna throw two daggers at him at once. Okay. Roll for <laughs> roll for dagger throwing. Uh, first one is a twenty-three, and the second one is a twenty-three again. Hell okay. yeah! So yeah, that really hits, and uh. Let's let's roll for damage uh, with a plus two advantage. So you get plus two on whatever rolls you get for each dagger. Five and five. I got the same rolls for both twice. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, so the daggers. The baby pulls out his hand and starts screaming as he sees as he hears the daggers with his one ear because he know he knows he's like I know what sound of a dagger. I may be blind. And the baby goes. And, uh, I go, hey, there's two daggers there's... coming at you. <laughs> and both daggers go into the hands of the gray baby, almost like he's being crucified against the, the booth of the table. <laughs> and so the baby is there now with two daggers, <laughs> uh, sort of kebobbing his hands into the... I, the, I go, you're the like the guy from the my diner. favorite Guillermo um, del Toro movie, Pan's Labyrinth. All right, Chessworth. Yeah, I have a question. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Is um, is the baby losing mass as we deal damage to him? No. 
The baby is not. Dang the baby. Oh, well, technically yes, because his ear was blown off, <laughs> which counts as mass. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can try so to suck the mass gravity. out of him though, if you want. If you want to get like a <laughs> one of those gravy things. The no, that's things, a, you can... it's okay. <laughs> okay. With my with my first with my, for my first attack, I'm I'm going to take out my. Uh, I'm gonna take out a, a what's something I can use for this? I'm gonna take out a measuring tape, and I'm going I'm going to go all around the the the, the diner, and figure out the exact trajectory I need to land this <laughs> attack. And then I line up. I I stand totally opposite of the baby on the other side of the room while he's crucified there, and I take my my big number two pencil and I charge at him. Okay. Oh, that's a twenty six. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking hell. All right. So. Uh... Not 26 damage, that's a 26, oh, so I, I yeah, okay, I roll for damage. Uh, and I'll give you a plus two. Yeah, I'll do. To your roll. Plus two to damage? Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, uh, seven plus four plus two, that would be seven plus six, which is... Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Damage. So as... Now with my next attack... Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. This baby is dead. If... <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think you should oh, kill the okay. baby. We only have like fifty minutes of like audio. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about. Don't that. worry about that game. <laughs> so, there you see the baby. Um, one of the one of the uh, the LED lights of the diner sort of uh, like breaks and has one light shining on him. So. You see the sword and the the two daggers. He's sort of Christ-like, you know. There's a spotlight put on him, um, and this baby, <laughs> with his last words, goes, "I I I had dreams, you know. I was gonna I was gonna go places and eat lots of food." Brennan uh, walks up to him, the baby, and says, "Facts don't care about your feelings, pal. <laughs> Jeffrey, take him out." <laughs> Um, I, so, so I, um, I, I, so as my, um, my number two pencil plunges to the baby, I have a sudden realization and say, Hey, I don't think we get the money if we turn this baby in dead, do we? <laughs> well, we've we got to uh... revivify this baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I kneel down on the baby yeah. and I cast revivify, which I do have. <laughs> All right. Uh... Does that is that full healing? But don't, I I don't remove my number two pencil. Yeah. I keep I keep my number so two just, pencil it having it stapled it. to the wall. Yeah. Um, so no revivify. Um, it makes it stable. So they are stable at one hit point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But I keep I keep him stamped to the wall with my number two pencil. Okay. So, yeah, the baby is now, like, I'm, I'm just on the grasp. I was I was about to see the light, but now I can't see. I can't see shit. Can the baby see again now, or is the baby blind forever? Um, would you say... So, um, it's no, I think it's... <laughs> Let's see, we did two oh. rounds, he, so he is blind for, like... It says like, 10 like minutes, four, Like right? 40... 10 minutes? No, it's one minute. That's not 10 minutes. Yeah, you're right. So one it's, it's one minute minus 12 seconds, whatever that is. 40, yeah, so, uh, 46 38. seconds. 38, 38 seconds. 38 What? Oh, 38, 38, 38, 38, 40, so. I don't know. However we, much it is. I think it's 48. This is, yeah, you're this right, is 48. 48, yeah. This is a human baby, correct? It's a gray. I mean, it's gray a human gray baby. petri dish grown baby. It's baby like creature. But it is is it like it humans? looks? Is it it looks like a human. Water. <laughs> when I uh, ran my test, yeah. did I did I yeah. get a number can for you, the water uh, call? If you do, you want to see how much water is in the baby? I bet Chessworth can figure that out. I want to know if it's seventy percent water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much? How much water? Chessworth can. Can you roll an investigation check to see how much water is in this baby? <laughs> yeah, I I, I hey, stick a worth. I, I, I stick a, a like a like a like one of those things you stick in chicken, the thermometer in him. A meat thermometer. I stick a meat thermometer in him yeah. to, to figure out how much water is in him. Okay. Uh, and you say that's a performance. <laughs> yeah. I, I take out my divining rod. Oh no no, it's an investigation. Investigation check, not performance. Oh, investigation. Sorry. Yeah. That is a 15. Okay, so... Uh, For how much water is in his body. <laughs> yeah, that that's good. <laughs> so you do find out, yes, 70% water, just like a human. Uh, 
Okay, no, so, my... so I... okay. But it's, well, it's my turn still, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're, no, we're, out, of we're out of combat. Yeah, you're out of combat, oh, but okay, okay. Chessworth, you have this information. Do you want to withhold it from Jimmy? What's your What's your plan? Hey, can you, look, are you figuring out how much water's in this thing? I'd really yeah. like to know. Out of curiosity, you know, I'm, I'm a sort of a curious man, a man of science. How, how why do you want to know how much water is in him? Because I got to make a, so I got to give us a solution. I got to, I got to baptize him in glorious baptism. We, I gotta, we can just call the lab. Can you tell me? <laughs> What is your solution? I, I, take, out oh, my, I take out my smartphone and start looking for the number for the lab. What were you saying, Ethan? You, Je, uh, the baby speaks up. Says, Just worth Jimmy, the, the fry cook is lying to you. He's lying. Yeah, he's lying, I tell you. He has it out for you. All right, that that's it. I cast, he has it I, out for I, you. I cast shape water and I turn all the water. I turn all the water inside of him into ice. I freeze it all over. Can you roll for that? Uh... <laughs> roll what? That's not know, an acceptable cantrip. use of shape water. You roll, can't use a cantrip to freeze somebody's roll, water. Roll with you use shape you know, water. Just roll a d20 it. and let me determine what happens. <laughs> I don't think the spell can freeze the water. Uh, it can, yeah, it is. It's I say it can. can. You can't freeze oh, yeah. the water in somebody's body. <laughs> I, 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 well, you're going to roll I a d20 to one. see how I much frozen. One, okay? yeah, DM's I, I rules. A, DM's I roll the nat one. I roll the nat one. All right, it didn't do jack shit. The, the baby got a little bit cold. He's like, oh, what? Okay. Anyways, as I was saying, big guy, that the frack is lying. Yeah, he has it out for you. He's gonna, he's gonna use me. I just know it. I just know it. I cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> <laughs> zone of Truth, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, so a, a big kind of blue bubble. We, yeah. we have to do, we have to do saving throws, right? Yeah, um, yeah let me see. Let me look at the saving throws. Let me see. Um, charisma saving throws. Oh, I have good charisma. Okay. Uh, I get a 16. Does that, does 16 pass? Yeah, you pass. You can lie. Hell yeah, I can lie. I got an 18. Um, I, I say, my earliest sexual memory was watching Shaggy and Scooby eat a hero sandwich in Scooby-Doo's <laughs> Omni <on the> Island. <laughs> uh, what did the, did you say the baby the, got? The, the baby okay? The baby got an 18. Okay, so the baby can lie. Okay. All right. So the baby says, so, but do they know that the baby's lying? Um, or you can't tell. Yeah, you can't tell okay. if they're lying or telling the truth. Yeah, can't tell. Okay. The the baby said, when I went into the pantry, I saw I saw a picture of Chessworth with a dagger through it that says, I want to kill Chessworth. Signed Jimmy, Pink Boy. I saw that. Look Can out. I roll for memory to re to remember that since it's in my office? No, it was in the pantry. It wasn't in your office. Oh man. Yeah, try to keep up, Gabe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> I gotta get my notes down. One second. I saw it under a loaf of bread. It was hidden under a loaf of bread, and then I ate the loaf of bread. Lying, because you were blind. You were blind. I have this to. Was, this, totally. this was before you blinded me. I got to the pantry before you blinded me. I ate a loaf of Snap bread. Snap my fingers. <laughs> You, you've, you've cast in zone of truth on me, which means I cannot lie. But that doesn't mean that my opinions are completely infallible, because I am but a mortal man. There is one thing, though, that is never mistaken, and that is the numbers. And I, I pull out my calculator and I run some numbers and I say, according to my calculator... Uh, <laughs> According to my calculations, you're a horseshit artist. Fuck you. <laughs> you're f you're full of feces. Fuck. No, I'm not. I'm just a baby. I knew that too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Well, what are you gonna? Call this lab. Get this all wrapped up and get our money. Get our Mario coins. Call the lab, old boss of mine. Uh, oh, yeah. Grab my smartphone and begin dialing the lab's number and bringing it up to my ear. Hello, lab. Uh, hello? Hello? Is this the lab? Uh, you, what do you want? This is Brennan Alphonse, intellectual, <laughs> scholar. You want, a job? you want a job or something? Are you a smart guy? <laughs> We're hiring smart guys. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm too good for that. Let's. Uh, I, we have this gray baby here. Gray baby? 
You got a great yeah. baby? Does it, does yeah, the baby want to eat food? Yeah, the baby's about the size of a, of a small bear. Oh. Of food. Uh -huh. Get the baby! Okay! We'll send a few guys to come pick up the baby. Uh, and yeah, come we'll pick come up give you the reward. We'll come give you the reward. Okay. Uh, we'll be there in 15 minutes. Thank you. Later. I hang up. Yeah, that's that's bullshit. They're not gonna give you a reward. They're gonna kill you. Don't you see? They, they, they don't want any witnesses to the me, to my freakish creation. Deal with it when they come. <laughs> Ethan, can I, um, can I roll, can I, can I roll to undergo mitosis? Sure. <laughs> Why do you need to go <laughs> mitosis? <laughs> what do you want me to roll for that? Uh, I don't know, just roll a fucking, roll it, uh, let's see. Roll a dexterity. Roll, roll, roll dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enough. That, that, that's a that's a twelve to undergo mitosis. All right. Uh, you Maybe you go a little tumorous head or something. You go <laughs> you go halfway through mitosis <laughs> with that twelve. Do you want, do what, you want to describe it? So, so what does that mean? <laughs> a Y shape. <laughs> yeah. So you just okay, you I just grow you grow arms. <laughs> do you want the top half to be split off or the bottom half? Like what do you want duplicated? Because so, uh, half of your body is going to be duplicated uh, and split like a Y. But do you want the top half or the bottom half? I think the bottom half would be more useful because more legs. <laughs> okay, you have neither. Eight. Neither of them would be useful. <laughs> you have eight legs, and it would. Can you? Uh, can you roll a D? Eight. A Why D, eight? A D. A D <laughs> oh wait, no, you have four legs. That's right. <laughs> You have four legs. <laughs> uh, this is a very. Hey, I gotta, wait, what the fuck? I got all these legs. What, what's going on here? But like the middle two, like you can't you can't even use because they're they're still locked together at the knees. You know. They're like vestigial. So it's like one leg but with two feet. Oh, I'm a, I'm a oh. So I'm a fucking potato sack man. I'm a potato <laughs> sack race man. <laughs> Can you roll? Uh, can you just roll performance to see how, like, how well you're gonna be able to walk for the rest of this campaign? Uh, I'm gonna be able this to walk quite campaign. well. I, I got an 18. Going. 18. I got an 18. I can. Walk All right. Yeah, well. you can walk. Just you. You're a quick learner, and you learn to adapt to your new, your two new legs <laughs> and your four, your set of four legs. Are the lab people here yet? Uh, not quite, but you do hear, uh, a family of four come in. They go, oh, we've been driving for so <laughs> long, honey. Oh, God. <laughs> we've, been, we've been driving to New York City, and we decided to stop. That's right, Tara, now we want some food. Yeah, man. I'm gonna give you a, a quick, I'm gonna give you a quick pat down and run some numbers. Is that okay? I'm sort of a bouncer here. Uh. So the family of four, which includes like a Ned Flanders like dad, and uh, a Miss Frizzle like mom, and a Bart Simpson like boy, and <laughs> actually two Bart Simpson like boys, they and they talk at the same time. They say, "What the fuck, man? Hey, what? Why? This is a family restaurant, man. What do you want? You can pass down for, man. <laughs> don't you can't touch me, or well, yeah. I, I don't. I, you don't have my consent. You don't have my consent." Yeah, that's right. Well, you you can't touch have my boy. My consent to enter the diner. <laughs> um, I, I roller skate down to the boy and I get onto one knee. And, uh, I look into their eyes and I begin to say a series of letters, numbers, <laughs> locations, colors. <laughs> um, I begin to say them over and over again, faster and faster. Okay. Physically impossible for a human to say, and I'm biohacking them. <laughs> to, say that, to, uh, to essentially circumvent um, their uh, hassle. I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. Try to roll for them. roll for deception for that for the biohack. Deception. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see. A B C D. Deception. That's okay. Uh, Eighteen. Okay. So you've you've biohacked these these boys. You've now rewired them to be completely anew. What do they do? <laughs> um. They're going to uh, 
<laughs> Chestworth, go ahead and do your job. <laughs> yeah, I, I pat them down, and Let it I, I have I have a I, I have a clipboard that I take some notes down on, and I, I pat it down. And I write some notes. I take some data. I take out my abacus, move some little beads <laughs> around, and I say, "All right." Wait, wait. Before you do that, roll an go. investigation. Roll an investigation. You don't know oh, if they're good. I, to go. I was about to say, can I do a? Pre I was about to say, can I do a perception check to, to see if they're four separate families? Uh, that's a that's like, a or, or, that's a not or, natural twenty. Or, or are they like a okay. Doctor Who Prisoner Zero creature pretending to be four people? You can you can certainly <laughs> roll. Yeah, roll perception check. I got a not natural tell twenty on it. Yeah, tell, tell okay. what his twenty does. Uh, the twenty, yeah, they're they're all good. There's, they they got they got some bubble gum wrappers in their pockets. Uh, one of them has a, a slingshot, but it's a really cheap one, so it couldn't do anything. Uh, the dad has a, um, he has his iPhone and his wallet and his keys. And, uh, the, the mom's got, um, let's see, what does she got? She, she's got pepper spray, but, like, I don't know, do you confiscate the, the pepper spray from her pockets, from her mom jean pockets? Nah, nah, nah. I, I, I let them in, but I, I say to the dad... Hey, keep a close eye on those keys. Those could be a dangerous weapon in the wrong hands. <laughs> it says, what the fuck? This is for my car. I thought he was in Ned Flanders' dad. Why did <laughs> nah, like that? Nah, he, no, he, no, he looks that. like he looks like Ned Flanders, but he sounds like Hank Hill. He talks like Hank Hill. <laughs> yeah. It's good. I rolled a, a five. I rolled a, I rolled a five to see if they're a monster. All right. You, you, they just look like a normal family to you. So, uh... Pay no attention to the gray baby. The gray boo the what the fuck is that? Well, oh, what the hell, um, man? The, let's that, see, let's that's see. a freak of nature. It's oh sort of, my it, god, what the hell is that? Don't thing? worry, we we called some people to come pick him up. They'll just be a moment. I would like to try and persuade the dad that this is his baby. <laughs> okay, yeah, roll for oh, hey, look, persuasion. Man. Why, why'd you put your Why'd you put your kid all the way over there and have it walk in on its own before you? Why'd you do it? <laughs> why would you, uh, uh, that is a twelve to persuade the dad. This is his baby. That is not my boy. Uh, these are my two boys. I got two boys. That is not my boy. I'm gonna cast command. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is your baby. Wisdom fourteen. Uh, yeah, that hits. Saving through. Okay. Then my eyes glow you blazing and blue. Blazing you blue. Move. Say This is your baby. No, that's not how oh, command works. Look. That's not what command is. Command <laughs> command is you telling someone yeah, to, yeah, do yeah, something. to do something. You can't okay, tell. Um you're gonna believe that this is your baby. No, you can't do that either. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, you can do it. To see it works. Yeah, roll D twenty. <laughs> thirteen thirteen does that work? Uh, it works on the dad, but not the mom. So the dad goes, I believe, I believe that's our boy. And she's like, no, that's not our boy. I'm going to cast command. <laughs> no, stop, stop. If you give them the baby, we don't get the reward. <laughs> I'm going to cast command. <laughs> well, this goes right. against every research, every study I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Alright, what's. Are you gonna command? command? I'm gonna kneel down. I'm, no, I'm not gonna uh, cast uh, command. I, I'm gonna kneel, kneel down to one of the boys and go, Hey, how's it going? What's your name, kid? My name's. My, uh, my name is Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and he kicks you in the. He kicks you in the shin. <laughs> you, you're my chosen. You must, you must carry on my legacy. And I give him my, my short sword. I say, This is for you. <laughs> wow, well, thanks. Uh. The kid grabs the sword and stabs the other child with it, pierces him, and instantly kills the boy. I say, very good. <laughs> I'm, I... I'm, can I cast the animate dead? <laughs> animate dead? No, you can't. <laughs> oh, no, it's just so they can have like one minute of life. All right, fine. Like one, like a, so um, I uh, you know grab my encyclopedia, blah blah blah. Uh, a hand goes ahead and picks the boy up by the head. Yeah. Like, grabs it by the chin, so it, it's, like, making them talk. <laughs> yeah. And th they're allowed to say, like, one last sentence. All right. W what would you like to say for your final breath, young boy? Spaghetti and meatballs! That's and it. then the hands drop them, <laughs> and now they're dead. Whoa! You just killed that boy! What the fuck? <laughs> 
Jeff! Command? Can I, can I, Command? Can I, can I, what the hell? Why? He, he killed the, you just gave that boy a knife! I told you that kid was <laughs> dangerous! Can I, roll, can I roll stealth to disappear up, 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 up into the vents, like in the roof? You're gonna vent like an imposter? Yeah. <laughs> I'm venting. Alright, yeah, roll stealth. I'm venting. Oh, oh, nat 20 plus 8, 28. <laughs> All right, so... <laughs> you vent. You you jump up like that scene in The Thing where uh, you find out that Palmer is the thing and he jumps up. You go back first into the vent and you slink up in there. Doesn't even make a sound. <laughs> I go, hey! I, I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna try to get us, us out of this mess. I turn to the remaining living members of the family and I say... Hello there, I'm the boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll, uh, roll persuasion. Oh, uh, that's a three. It's a three. No, you're not. You're fucking huge. What the fuck are you talking about? You're not the boy. <laughs> can, I, can I cast, com can I cast command? Don't go, <laughs> don't go talking on that. Um, while you're arguing about that, can all of you, can all of you roll a dexterity saving throw? Wait, I I'm in the vents. Do I still have to do it? Yep. I got a 15. Okay. I got a 12. Okay. Uh, natural one. Okay. Um. You are the natural so, one. So, as you're arguing, you see 14 grenades thrown into the windows of this diner. And they go off. <laughs> <laughs> Chester, Chestworth, you are blown to smithereens. You're still alive, but you're blown to smithereens. You can still talk. You just you're just ahead. <laughs> okay. You're just ahead now. Person. Yeah. I go. Fingley Mugluck, Rella Wugluck, Fatagi. Why? All right. Wait, wait, wait. You are not. Is this a Twin Peaks joke? The mom. The mom and dad are blown to smithereens. <laughs> They're dead. Uh, the alive boy is. Uh, he somehow, uh, he is able to jump underneath the table and survives the blast. The baby is alive too. He survives the blast. Um, Brennan, you get, uh, you're able to, to dive underneath, uh, dive behind the counter, but you get some shrapnel in you. So you're, you're, you're riddled with broken glass on your body. And, uh, so as my, as my face is pouring with blood, I just tap my temple. Just like, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Jimmy... This explosion sort of, uh, the air duct comes down, and it kind of smushes you a bit, so you're slightly flattened now. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> Pancake person. So, uh, now it storms like a SWAT team in this diner, and um, <laughs> it's three heavily armed- Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> now swarms a SWAT team. <laughs> now swarms a SWAT diner. team into the diner with guns. <laughs> And flashlights pointing at everyone says, Whoa! Survey the area! Survey the area! We got no survivors! And, um... Let's let's roll for, uh... No survivors! <laughs> let's go see for survivors! Um... Yeah, so what do, you, what do you do? So, Chestworth, you're just ahead on the floor. Uh... Brennan, are we doing initiative? Or are we... No, there's no... No, no, yeah. no initiative. I just need... It's not a big deal. We, we, you're not in battle, because they haven't spotted you yet, so... Um... Okay. Um, yeah, what do you do? Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to vomit out a boomerang and try to um, <laughs> try to make try try to have it pick up the green baby and fly him out the window. What? <laughs> okay. I have a boomerang in my equipment. Just saying. All right. Um, what What do you? All right. Yeah. Roll me a d20 to see if that works. Okay. And I'm gonna give you a disadvantage because you're you're shooting it out of your disadvantage. Mouth. Okay. That's a natural 20 that I don't get to use. Okay. And that's a natural 18. <laughs> Na nice. All right, so you roll a natural 18. Um, and this sort of picks up the baby. Uh, but it frees him from the daggers uh, that was attaching him to the booth of this diner. And he kind of screams out of bagels. <coughs> Fuck! And... Uh, the, the SWAT team members notice that the baby's being picked up and is thrown out of the diner. And they say, there's a baby! There's a baby! And they all run out and they uh, they pick up the baby, they put him in a potato sack, um, and they hop into their, their SWAT vans and they drive off. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there, there you all are. And the, the diner is just in 
in rubble right now. Um, there's a perfectly fine alive boy uh, standing in the middle of this rubble, and you're all. Uh, <laughs> Chessworth is ahead. Jimmy is kind of pancaked, and Brennan's covered in uh, glass and uh, wooden stakes. Um, what do you What do you guys do? Um, Brennan <laughs> crawls from under the table booth. He stands up. He cracks his back. <clears throat> Battle is really a thinking man's game when you think about it. Uh, I go to the, I go down to Jimmy's body. And, did you make anything? Did they? What did I you shoot, make? Did you I make shoot order? Brennan. I shoot Brennan in the face. I try to kill him. <laughs> Put up my shield. You're not gonna fucking shoot me. <laughs> go. I, I can. Oh, so can I roll? Yeah, for roll. It? Yeah. Roll, roll, both of you roll, roll for it. Oh, roll what? Yeah, uh, you roll. I don't know. Roll okay. Good thinking, pecans. Down with the bourgeoisie. Okay, whoever I gets whoever the gets the higher roll wins. 21. You got a twenty-one. No, I think it's because it's my my armor class, right? Oh yeah, yeah. What's your what's your armor class? What's your armor class? Armor class is um eighteen. I got a twenty-one, motherfucker. Okay. Okay, do it. How much damage, dude? What? Yeah. Uh, a billion? Maybe. Oh, is, does that count Not as a sneak attack? Because he wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Not sneak sure. attack. But, uh, okay. Okay, okay, maybe I will, maybe I will, maybe I will just do that. Uh, that, and then three more of those. Uh, let's, let's do it, baby, let's do it, let's do it. It's a, it's a, uh, 20, 20 damage, straight up, to the face. Okay, um, you shoot me in the face, and I just keep standing there. <laughs> do you? <laughs> do you? Wow, I have 50, you I have 51 there? health. <laughs> all right. It doesn't take you aback at all? Um... The, the little uh, boy walks up from behind you, Brennan, and says, Hey, excuse me, can I have a grilled cheese? Can I have a grilled cheese, please? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna take the boy's to... body. <laughs> what? I'm gonna take, take the boy's, the boy's body, body for my own. You're gonna body snatch him? <laughs> you are my chosen. Up... Boy, you are my I, chosen. I, 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 I attach, I, 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 I put my, my big number two pencil at the base of my neck, <laughs> and I'm gonna try to plunge my number two pencil into the boy, so that, so that his head just obliterates and my head lands on his body. Okay. Um. That's great. I'm gonna have you roll a religion check for that one. Because <laughs> this is a pretty biblical moment. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is truly biblical. What, what part of the Bible? Is, is, is this in year one? My favorite movie in year one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, na- so it's minus one to 19, but it is a natural Okay. Um, so as he's saying, jeez, <laughs> like, um, it's the scene from Hot Fuzz when the thing goes into his head, but it's the pencil with your head, so your head just perfectly slides onto this tiny boy's body. So, uh... <laughs> now what? Now you got a little boy body. His body now? Yeah, you I, can. I look to chest. I look to chest for it though. You still want that grilled cheese? I mean, I'm the boy. <laughs> it's like I told you. I'm the boy. Eyes grow wide, and I put my hand to my heads. I mean, my head to my hands, and I start screaming. Oh wait. Oh, did did my four legs help me in any way of being crushed? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you can only t- you can only use the like sewn together legs now. Yeah, you can only use the sewn together legs. The other two were completely flat. And they're like they're like loose tassels now because all the bones just, were just turned to dust. Tails. Yeah, they're like coattails. So I, I now can you just now can you roll a performance to see how how you walk? Like, can you walk with just the two? Uh, that's gonna be a sixteen. Okay, so yeah, you can walk. You walk. You, you you sort of waddle around now. You know, it's like. Can it's, I can I vomit out a, th- a thousand ball bearings? Um, <laughs> yeah. Can you roll for religion for that one? It's another <laughs> biblical moment. <laughs> biblical moment. Uh, that's gonna be an eleven for vomiting out a thousand ball bearings. All right, you you vomit out five hundred of them. <laughs> Jimmy, can you fire up the grilled cheese for the boy? <laughs> I want my grilled cheese. I want my grilled cheese. You gotta earn I'm your, the boy. You gotta I'm earn, the boy. You gotta earn your paycheck, Jimmy. I start. I start uh, shaking back and forth. I'm the boy. I'm the boy. Yamba kavish miyuksta vizna yagvo kiara the klinga. Fire up the grilled cheese. I start snapping. I snap at. I snap at Jimmy's head. 
All right. Oh, jeez. The camera... <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> as this commotion is happening, <laughs> the camera the camera starts zooming out, and out <laughs> appears Rod Serling, and he goes, As you can see, this diner is a pretty <laughs> fucked up diner. I hope you've learned something today. Never order the cheese. <laughs> the end. That was great. Good job. <laughs> This is the Twilight Zone. This is the flipping Twilight Zone. Don't order a grilled this is, wait, cheese. No, you... Next time you want to order a grilled <laughs> cheese, don't go to don't go the Twilight Zone. It's Blinky fades diner. to Ethan in his apartment closing his file. <laughs> yeah, and then it cuts to me closing a file and be like, that was fucking trash. Files it away. All right. <laughs> There it is. There then it's is. Nick. It's Nick on the couch watching TV and watching this on TV. Turns, <laughs> turning off the TV. Turns off the TV. Turns it off and he goes. He goes. He turns to the left off camera. He goes, Ma, is it spaghetti for dinner again? <laughs> <laughs> and then we pan out to uh, Spoons Rango's man cave with all the monkeys watching Nick watching TV of watching that. And Paul Venus goes, What? What the? F- TV is really weird here in the, the Forgotten Realms. Let's let's see what else is on. It, 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 was was this was this generated by magic or is this like a, a <laughs> no, real show? This is this is this is a, a, a movie that someone has made since you invented movies a week earlier. <laughs> Dude, that I, I mean, I was a fan of Star Wars, not just because I was in the production of it, but like this yeah. is so. so am, I the, am I the am I the DM now? Yeah, now, now you're the DM. DM. <laughs> you're DM. Paul, Paul Venus, Paul Venus, you trip and fall on an anvil. Ah, oh, fuck the anvil! <laughs> My head is dented. Oh man, that was a great episode, guys. Good stuff. I didn't like that one. I didn't, I didn't, what's the show called? The, the Ethan, the, twi- the, the, the Twilight Ethan. <laughs> I guess it's the, the episode. The episode of the Ethan Files is called the Twilight Zone: Giners, Drive-ins, and Dives. <laughs> well, yeah, wait, no, 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 no. This this show was called Nick it. Watches the Ethan Files, <laughs> watching. Oh man, the Twilight Zone: oh. Giners, Drive-ins, and Dives. Well, oh, this Nick guy kind of reminds me of somebody. Uh, I uh, can't put my finger on it.